Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. As always, it is Nick here, back through daily crypto news and analysis. And today we're going to be talking about Alchemy Pay or ACH. I have quite a bit of things to talk about, so sit back, relax, and before we fully jump on into this video, I just want to ask you guys to please leave a like on this video. It does help the channel grow immensely. It takes a couple seconds, and guys, I do greatly appreciate it. Now, with all of that in mind, I just want to let you guys know and you know, make sure that you are all aware that this is not my normal voice. I am sick, so I do apologize for that. But nonetheless, we're going to make it through it, and we are going to be talking today about one of the most undervalued gems. So let's just jump in and let's talk about Alchemy Pay as the market is kind of, you know, a little bit coiled up for the next major move. And uh, yeah, so AC ACH actually hasn't been making too many moves overall. Um, you know, I'm actually surprised that we aren't up more uh, currently, but it's probably because the trading volume is a little bit rough. Uh, we did come up just a little bit slightly from like these lows down here at about like almost six cents exact. Uh, it has been riding the waves. I'm going to be showing you guys those. Um, but overall, you know, trading volume is not too crazy here. Uh, there's not a lot of volume, honestly. So, you know, it's not too big of a surprise that the price isn't, you know, severely higher. Uh, we do see a little bit on the seven day span, a little bit of some accumulation. We see it on the three month span a little bit more. So people are just probably holding this asset right now. Um, obviously those who bought at the highs are probably holding in frustration. Um, but me personally, you know, I just accumulate at the bottom barrel. So let's actually talk about that. So in terms of ACH, I've been talking to you guys a little bit about the price chart for it. Of course we do. I'm going off the, you know, candles up here, the, the strong candles, not the actual wicks. Um, but overall, we have been riding, you know, the the 702 uh, fib level for a little bit of time, and I do suspect that that is probably going to be our little bit of a bottom barrel support zone, um, and we pretty much see that being targeted back here in October, actually on Halloween exact, um, before we jumped out of the 382 and retested major resistance up at about almost 12 cents exact. So overall, you know, I think that this looks fairly good. I think that we are pretty much ranging to have that next major reversal. If you guys do look on the inverted scale you can pretty much see that uh, what do you think comes next on this do you think it goes up which would be technically down or do you think it comes down technically up in my opinion I think that we go uh, up from here but that's just my opinion now of course in terms of the RSI we have been gaining some strength I do personally want to see us back over the 50 RSI level uh, currently trading at about 43.87 uh, in terms of RSI strength there's not too much volume like I said, um, I've been talking to you guys a little bit about the volume problem with a lot of these altcoins. Currently, right now, we are suffering from immense amount of low volume. I want to see our, see our volume coming back to the point of like November 28th. And uh, obviously, like around Halloween, this would be perfect for us, especially for our next major breakout event uh, to really happen on ACH. But of course, with you know Alchemy Pay, I've told you guys, this is on some major exchanges. It's already on Coinbase. Uh, so when this does start to really kind of pop out, you know, I think that retail individuals are going to really eat this up. And I, I and being such a small you know gem for what it is, uh, I do believe that this could essentially pull you know similar moves like New Cipher. If you guys you know did forget about New Cipher or if you guys didn't know about New Cipher at that point, um, let's just kind of look back on this and really kind of address this. So, you know, this year alone, uh, it did make some gains. I mean, going all the way back to like February, I remember when it did do this massive breakout, I was pretty much loading up around uh, like the January timeframe, like somewhere around here. It jumped out and I was like, yeah, whatever, I'll just sell. I took my profit and I put it into other altcoins. And of course, I still had a bag of new cipher around this point. Um, but for the most part, it wasn't really anything special. So, you know, I wasn't able to, you know, uh, essentially celebrate this massive ride to almost, you know, a dollar fifty. Um, but it was a severe amount of mass volume that really kind of pushed this to this price. I mean, this was like, you know, three billion to almost a one billion dollar, you know, amount of volume in 24 hours. So it was about a combined total of like four billion dollars in volume that flowed into this asset. Uh, in, in pretty much the span of one day. So, you know, I do suspect that we will see a similar move like that to ACH just once retail individuals really kind of learn what this is and pretty much find out what this is um, because I think that this has a ton of use case value behind it. And of course, in terms of social volume, you know, there's not a lot of social volume on this. I mean, it's up 46%, um, but it's really not that 
you know, incredible to say the least. Like there's really not that much social engagement. Now, of course, in terms of social dominance and stuff like that, yeah, that's up. Um, but, you know, I still think that there is still yet to be a lot more volume to be pushed within alchemy. And uh, I suspect that we will get there very soon. Now, with all of this in mind, I do want to talk to you guys a little bit about some updates that have been happening. So first off, you know, we do see here, I don't even want to, you know, know why people keep asking, you know, when Binance went to the moon. Uh, do you think this is a casino? Just invest in the money that you don't want to use for two to three years and hold ACH. Believe with all the partnerships and progress for sure, a $4 billion market cap. Easy. Now, I, the the reason why I include this is because we have been seeing you know a few names popping up now uh, in terms of their founding members, and we do see Avalanche as well. Uh, there's a ton of assets within the space, you know, networks and and projects that are built, or I should say, partnering with Alchemy Pay, or even building around Alchemy Pay. And I do think that we have a ton of growth left in. Honestly, like we have so many connections to Binance as well. So I do suspect that we will see some major listings later for some major exchanges, which will, of, uh, of course, add a ton of value for it and volume. Um, but yeah, I mean, I truly do believe that this is one of those assets that you really kind of just look at, research, and understand how big it's actually going to become. Now we do see here, you know, I keep finding stuff that I probably shouldn't have. Uh, ACH, didn't I tell you earlier about credit cards coming soon? Have you have you all seen this? And yeah, I mean, credit cards are coming to ACH. Um, in terms of, you know, crypto credit cards, we know crypto credit cards are on the rise. And we actually see our card tier, uh, ACH stake required, and then, of course, the credit line. And you can see also the benefits here on all of this. Um, I honestly think that when we're talking about crypto credit cards, I think that they're definitely going to grow and grow and grow in mass demand. And I truly do believe that in terms of ACH, it's going to grasp a large percentage of this market. You know, I'm not the only one that sees this, though. You know, we even see CNBC really kind of, you know, counteracting my overall, or I shouldn't even say counteracting, but supporting my overall judgment on crypto credit cards and how big they are going to be. But of course, they counteract a little bit and they mention some negatives. Um, but I don't think that there's much negatives around this. And in terms of how big this is going to be, uh, I think that there's going to be a ton of, you know, individuals who are going to be on the waiting list for a lot of these credit cards uh, in terms of, you know, crypto. And of course, we do see here, you know, for example, the Block5 Rewards Visa Signature Credit Card. You know, here's those, you know, percentages and stuff that you can earn in terms of, you know, purchases. Now, when we're talking more so about these credit cards and we're talking more so about, you know, crypto credit cards, I think that when we see retail individuals really kind of moving into this market to get these types of credit cards, I think that there's going to be only a few leading names in the game to really provide this amount of use case. And I do think that Alchemy Pay is going to be at the forefront of this because they are already well positioned to do so. Now we also see here ACH staking to be announced in the near future and we do see here yes. Uh, you know, the team is working on staking. It will be available in the near future. Please kindly wait. Now, when we're talking more so about staking, um, I do think that that's going to add a ton of value to the network as well. You know, staking is obviously a key role in terms of demand for some sort of assets. Uh, we even seen this with a lot of assets recently that announced staking. I do believe that new Cypher actually pumped from it announcing stake and I, I might be wrong but I'm pretty sure it, it did pump from that. Now we also see here Alchemy pays a dialogue with former IMF chief economist stable coins have big advantage over CBDCs and of course this is coming from Bloomberg so this is actually some pretty good media attention. Uh, this goes back to December 20th they are talking more so about you know MIT really kind of getting in on uh, CBDCs they're talking more so about Google, Google and Meta and how that's going to continue to grow uh, overall I'm not going to try to read all of this or I'm not even going to try to read any of it really realistically speaking I'm just trying to give you guys an insight that you know more and more retail individuals will learn more so about Alchemy Pay especially coming very soon in 2022 as we do know that there's a ton of updates still yet to be pushed um, but we also see an Alchemy Pay really kind of update their website and uh, it looks pretty good. And it honestly gives you guys a little bit of an insight on what's going to be happening. You know, we drive blockchain adoption by bridging the gap between the crypto and fiat world. And of course, through debit, uh, debit and credit cards as well. But, you know, credit cards are going to be one major use case. There's still so many other ones. Uh, 60 plus countries, 300 plus fiat channels. Uh, trusted reviews by a lot of these major individuals and of course we do see you know the ceo of binance even talking about it and it's funny because we're not even on binance yet uh you know okay okay ex as well um there's a ton i mean it, it, it's absolutely ridiculous that we're not on some of these major exchanges but we already have partnerships with them and you guys could see their blockchain partners on the right there 
There's so many of them, Merchant Networks as well. Uh, I've always told you guys about a lot of these, but you know, overall, you know, we built the world's first crypto fiat payment infrastructure, C2B and B2B payments. There's going to be so much volume that flows over this network. I, I really do suspect that this could become a massive, uh, you know, a massive investment, especially at these current levels. The ROI potential here is absolutely ridiculous. And of course, we do see our token. Click on each logo to buy ACH on one of these exchanges, and you guys could really kind of see uh, where it's listed here in terms of these major exchanges. And there's still so many yet to be listed here. It's crazy. And of course, we do see, you know, Enterprise Payment Solutions. You know, Alchemy Pay pioneered the world's first hybrid crypto fiat gateway solution to bridge the gap between fiat and crypto economies. And, uh, you know, today the bridge is available to millions of consumers through e-commerce shops, e-commerce platforms uh, with thousands of merchants. Alchemy Pay enables both fiat and crypto in one payment system. And uh, like I said, with all of this in mind, there is still so much left to be released. There's so much still left to be announced. And I'm very excited for that. OK, so, you know, understand how big this is actually going to be at scale. Uh, they did update their tokenomics, but honestly, like it still does not give me any insights on that. I don't like that, to be completely honest with you. That's one thing that I've always disliked about Alchemy Pay. They never really give us that transparency. Um, but we do see our Alchemy Pay tokens are pledged, rewarded, and paid as fees to drive the and incentivize all of the ecosystem's functions, uh, crypto payments, investments, crypto linked cards, payment channels, and more. So there's still so much still left to be announced. Uh, I just really wish that there was more so, uh, you know, a, a clear insight on the tokenomics. But again, when we're talking about everything that is going to be happening within Alchemy Pay, I do suspect that the tokenomics will be released soon in terms of a transparent way. And uh, I do believe that there's going to be a lot more left to be announced on this. And we even see that they are building out a wallet app. Uh, I believe that this is actually, yeah, this is actually already live. Uh, so this is actually pretty cool. I mean, overall, when we're talking about DeFi and we're talking about, you know, just crypto and fiat payments and stuff like that, all of this goes hand in hand with that. I do believe that this is definitely going to have a bright future within the space. Um, I think that when we're talking more so about credit cards and stuff like that uh, for crypto, you know, Alchemy Pay definitely is going to be leading the way. They already have partnerships with like Visa and stuff. Also, here is some of their partnerships, by the way. Alchemy Pay enables global digital payments. Uh, and here's their partners, as you guys already know. I showed you guys these before. Here's their clients and a breakdown of some of their clients and how they're utilizing this. Uh, I'm not going to go too in depth on this because I already did this in the past. Um, but if you guys do want to learn more so about those, definitely go check out my other videos on it. Um, but they have a ton of partnerships. They also have uh, partnerships with Visa and MasterCard, like I said. And um, I think that this is just going to continue to and continue to grow. And we even see her be connected globally. Mission driving global blockchain adoption by bridging fiat and crypto economies. And of course, you guys could read their white paper and all that kind of stuff. And then their leadership team, you can read more about them. Uh, we do see John Tan actually is from, you know, he did some consulting for some major Fortune 500 com uh, companies, including Honeywell, RSA, and DBS Bank, and more. So this is pretty big. And of course, including a growing team of 60 plus towns. So, like I said, they are continuing to grow out this ecosystem. Their use cases are continuing to prosper. And uh, a lot of the major retail demand is already here. You know, in terms of a lot of these, you know, major news outlets that are reporting on, you know, crypto credit cards, crypto in general and retail, you know, overall insights and demand for crypto. Alchemy definitely is going to be at the forefront of this. I'm definitely focused more so on the PA a little bit here because I do want us to break out a little bit. But I think that we are at near bottom levels. Uh, for some major accumulation to be continuing to happen. I do want more volume to flow in here. The RSI looks pretty good. Uh, the chart looks pretty good in terms of it holding this major support zone. Uh, so I suspect that there is going to be some relief very soon for Alchemy Pay. Of course, you have to watch the Alchemy uh, Bitcoin price chart. I have not been looking at this too much, but we do see that the RSI is very weak and so is the volume. So that is what I'm paying attention to right now currently. But with all of that in mind, I hope that you all enjoyed this video. If you guys did, definitely leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications on if you guys want more free content. You guys are more than welcome to follow me on Twitter and join the free Discord down in the description below. As always, I hope that you all have a beautiful day or a beautiful night. Wherever you guys are in this beautiful world, it's been Nick. Peace out, guys.